In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a histogram. So the histogram um, is in here under insert and charts. And it's under this little drop down menu here. It's a stats chart or statistics chart. Um, <clears throat> okay, now to make it, I'm going to make it on my heights. So to make it, I'm just going to first highlight my heights. So click on the top A1 here, this top cell, control shift down to highlight them all, and then insert and click the little drop down arrow and histogram is what we want. Awesome. So nice and quick. We're almost done, except for a couple things. Five categories is better than three. Um, we already figured out previously when we're making our frequency table that five categories is best for these heights. Um, so a couple quick things that I can do. If I click on this chart or double click on it, a menu comes up. Okay. And here we can choose um, how many bins we have, size of the chart. Uh, we can choose many things. Um, and actually, let's do it here. Okay. Forgive me. This takes me a little bit of clicking around. I recommend you try the same um, when you want to change something on your chart. So what I am going to change is the number of bins. And you can see it here. You can change the bin width. You can change the number of bins. I'm going to change it to five. And let me just review where you get to that. So on the bottom here, just double click. And then this menu shows up and it's the axis options. I'm going to set the number of bins to five. You can also pick the width here if you want. If you want to do 10 instead of uh, instead of eight, that's great. Um, okay. And there's a lot of other things you can modify here. I won't bother getting into too much of that. One more thing I can do is stop it at 10. That's the highest frequency. So double click on the Y axis or the vertical axis to get its menu. And we're going to stop this at 10 by just setting the maximum to 10 and hitting enter. Two more things that I like to have on a chart, a proper title. So I just go click in the title and I'm going to say this is histogram of the heights. And one more thing click anywhere in the chart and you can get to this design tab right here. And in here at the far left, this is one of my favorite menus for charts, add chart element. So this is where you could have added the title as well. If there wasn't one, it's set above the chart right now. And I'm going to add a horizontal title or ax yeah, axis title. And um, that appears right here. And that is my height. We could also add a vertical title right here, primary vertical, and then click on it once you've set it up. Delete, delete, delete to get it at blank here. And this is your, um, this is actually your number of students with each of these heights. And that is the histogram. Um, there's one other way you could roughly make the histogram. Not as pretty though. So I recommend what I just did, but I'll show you quickly here. Previously, I've set up this pivot chart with the frequencies and the percent frequencies. You could just go highlight this and build this chart here by just going to insert and you can just do a bar chart right here like that. It's not quite as pretty though. There's all the gaps. Uh, it's doing both the frequency and the percent frequency in it. Not horrible. One more thing you could do for the percent frequency, you could right click format data series and add a secondary axis for um, the percent frequencies. It's a little bit messy here though. Um, yeah, it's hiding the actual frequencies now. Uh, anyways, not perfect. I do prefer the built-in one here under insert. 
Um, but yeah, you can do your histogram either way. One more note you'd have to, like it's nice to have just the one series in here so you can get rid of the other one. Uh, and then um, you can also make the bin or the, the, the gap between the bars zero if you wanted to do it this way and make it look perfectly like this graph. Not that you need to, uh, but it is possible to adjust this graph to make it look just like this one. Okay, thanks for watching.